Yeah, on Friday at midnight. But I, I got I gotta tell you all about this figure. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> this figure's great. I love it. I really love it. I'm surprised no one else talked about it. By the way, I am using uh, my light thing because it, it's too dark. I, I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, I, I really love this figure. I'm surprised no one really talks about this. Because Shang-Chi is actually a really good movie. I'm not joking. I usually do not like like modern stuff in movies. But Shang-Chi somehow did it perfectly. I, I love the movie. It's probably the best one out of phase four. If you say no one home no way home is is the best one, I can understand that. Because I also love that movie. And then I rewatched it and know it's some of the mess, but I still love that movie. Because we got Toby back. And to Andrew Garfield fans, yeah, that, that's also good. I'm glad he came back too. He's not a bad Spider Man. He 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 was written poorly. And so were the villains. Fuck Jamie Foxx. Anyways. But yeah. These figures are great. So. This is the one time I actually watch an MCU movie. I, I, I know I already said that, but. <laughs> the movie was really good. Um, I remember watching Theory, I think. I don't know. Like, when Map had video, he said, oh, the monster one was confusing. I don't think he paid attention. He, they said that, like, some fucking monster was trying, try, like, messing with Wen Wu's mind. And he's like, oh, I don't understand. Okay, I, don't, I, I, got, I got off topic, but... Hello to my new subscribers. Um, Lies video did very well. I don't know why. These are Sonic action figures. From the movie. Yeah. But anyways. So this figure. I, I, I'm I, still surprised that no one talks about this. We got like the Foosh. And then sadly Sharmus Prime. I'll be honest. I don't really like Sharmus. But that's it. We didn't get like Unparalleled Universe. The Amazing. Animated Heroes. Wait. What's his name? I don't know. You know, um, Ace. Uh, did we get MCU Collector to talk about? I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't watch that many other YouTubers. Not much besides Unparalleled Universe, Wade, The Foosh, and The Amazing. Because those three are my favorites. Anime Heroes is pretty annoying to me. But that's just to me. And Sharmus, he, he, yeah. I, I'm not going to talk about him. But let's let's talk about the design because I keep going off topic. So, oh god. So the I don't know if this was concept art. Also, yeah, the skin looks more lighter than oh, because of the light. That's a light. Oh, hang on. Yeah, that's not going to focus, but oh well. But yeah. There's a texture on here before we talk about it. I'm sorry for blurriness. It's being kind of difficult. But yeah, there's texture on here. You can feel that all around. And then, you know, just black lines. I think some imperfections. But, eh, it's not that much of a big deal. And yeah, just black pants and then black shoes. No laces, like, painted. But, like, you know, the bottoms are white, so that stands out. Rolled up sleeves, like usual. And of course pins, but for some reason that doesn't bother me all, all that much. Especially since it's so obvious. I don't know why. This is the one time I'll set pins on the arms and pinless legs. Also, the face isn't bad. I won't lie. I mean, it doesn't look like him directly, but I'm going to be honest. I, it, it's pretty better than the SH3 Arts one. I don't think SH3 Arts won't. It's good at faces at all. I think they're pretty mediocre. They're ass. SH Free Arts just need to get better. Like, I don't know. It, they they just suck. I like the anime figures because they can do that well, but they can't do movie figures well. 
I mean, I can't do them either, but like, still, it's like, holy fuck. But yeah, the design's cool. I love the movie still. Yeah. Nothing else to talk about, really, because it's such a simple design, like Venom and Spider Man. So, yeah, there's not much to talk about. Overall, I love this figure. <laughs> Alright, he comes with like two sets of hands. He comes with these open hand thing. Open hands. Obviously, this is not going to focus, but like, here they are. You can see them, but it's like blurry. And he comes with these two hands, which I'm confused. I don't, I didn't really see him you do this in the movie, but like, I don't know. There's holes, so if you get that um, table set, I don't know what it was from SH Trader Arts for Goku, you can probably stick or make your own um, chopsticks or whatever they're called. <laughs> I kind of forgot, and then put them in. Put them in the fingers. Oh my god, I can't speak. But you, you get what I'm trying to say. Put them in the, through the fingers. And like have them eating or something. And then he comes with this staff. Which is what they use to like kill those monsters. They use this part right here. And you know. I mean you can also use this as a regular weapon for him. So yeah. That's all he comes with. Well besides the build a figure piece. But like. I don't include those. Because I'm not going to build the figure anyways. But yeah, now to articulation. I mean, it, it's pretty basic, yeah, I will agree, but god damn, this neck articulation, man. This goddamn art neck articulation. This is basically import quality. If you watch the foosh and he pointed this out, oh my god, it's fucking awesome. He can actually look up. He can look up, which is a very big problem with, like, especially now. Now, using Thor as a reference right here, it's pretty bad because, you know, he has hair, so that's pretty understandable. But then you have motherfuckers like fucking Icarus from the Eternals League. And he can barely look up. What the fuck? Sorry, I felt something itchy. Like, why? Why can't he barely look up? Okay, that's not going to focus, but, but still. Like, he... Chunk... Sean can look up. Why? Why can't they do this on all their figures? I mean, at least they did it with Doctor Strange right here. But then again, that's also using his neck. Why couldn't they just do that with the regular dumbbell? What happened? I just don't understand. But yeah, pretty basic articulation. The, the dumbbell joint is really nice. It, it has so much space to move around and stuff. I love it. It, it really makes the figure shine so yeah he looks up this much down this much tilt tilt uh yeah this 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 is just oh my god and then you know basic articulation arms go up rotate bicep swivel double joint elbows which it's actually pretty hard because it's sculpted right here Oh shit, I thought I broke something. But yeah, it's sculpted right here. With like this, because right here is sculpted. I, I didn't mention mention that, but yeah. You know, hinge, swivel, ab crunch. Crunches that much. Back that much, which is really good. Waist swivel. I don't know why this is pretty rough. Also, this is not like all one piece. This is like separate, but I don't care. Kicks that far. Kicks a little back. Double joint knees, tie cut, no rotation at all down here, but down this much, up that much, and then angle pivot. So, yeah, you know, pretty basic, but that neck, oh my god, I'm telling you, up here, it makes it shine. Of course, this is going to be blurry, because I don't have a camera, I'm using my phone, hang on. Oh, it's really not going for There we go. So, yeah. So, now that we don't really have much to talk about, I guess we can go to scale. Not to start off to the boys that maybe get 4,000 views, which is really dumb, not going to lie. Because, I don't know, to the parents, yeah. This is how he scales with. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm sorry, this looks funny. Is these like animals? So, yeah, that's how he goes with Sonic and Knuckles. Here he is with Icarus and then Luke Cage. So, yeah, Icarus is taller, so is Luke Cage. Here he is with Ravager Thor and then Thor. You know, they, that shouldn't be a surprise really. And here he is with, hang on, here he is with, um, Spider-Man from No Way Home, Walmart exclusive, which looks extremely cheap, and Doctor Strange, which is on his, don't, god damn it. So yeah, here are these two together, they're pretty much the same height, Doctor Strange is a little bit taller though. And then, finally, here he is with the movie Snake Eyes, and then the movie Venom. Even on his toe, either way, he will still be tall and out of frame, so it really shouldn't matter. So, yeah. This is pretty much your figure. I have nothing else to say besides good things. I absolutely love this figure. Nothing bad to say. About besides like no fish that that's it there's like no fish seems odd because you know this is a um, martial arts dude <laughs> oh, oh yeah he's the master of martial arts so yeah again video is early because you know actually no you don't I I just mm -hmm. I, I just love this figure I, it, it really does deserve more reviews not for people like me although if you do see people with like low effort videos, honestly, we are just starting and we aren't professionals like The Amazing, The Whoosh, Unparalleled Universe, even fucking Charmus Prime, and then Ace Wing, and MCU Collector, and Dan. You know, we're just starting out. But overall, this figure is really good. I love it. It's my favorite so far. So, yeah. I I might make another video this week, so I. But then again, I I'm not sure. But yeah, this is pretty much the end. I love the movie. I love this figure. One of my favorite figures so far, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see y'all maybe next week or maybe later this week. Yeah, bye.